Hi YouTube family, monthly favorites. August is over, September is here, and we are going to go through what I reached for the most and what I loved the most. Hang on, we're gonna do this. Okay, we're not doing any particular order here. We're just going into what I was enjoying. So I want to start off with a couple of palettes that I'm really enjoying. The Juvia's Place Nubian 3 Coral Palette. I really did enjoy this this month. I'm actually wearing it today, and I love that they threw these cool tones in here. It just is so nice. And I'll tell you that I used this orangey color right here. It's more of a peachy orange, but I mixed that with some of these cooler ones and it just turns out so nice. And then throw those other cool tones on my eyes and this is every bit Juvia's Place quality. Absolutely love this. And the other palette that I was really loving is the Blue Moon palette from ColourPop. So the Juvia's Place was new to me this month, but the ColourPop one wasn't, but I still am reaching for this thing all the time. I use it as my liner all the time, and then I also use a lot of the colors just to do a pop across my lid too, and I absolutely love these little things. These little nine palette ones with their packaging and the little mirror in here. I just, I really like them. So if there's a color that you really like from there, I wouldn't hesitate to pick them up because they're really a good quality. I love ColourPop's pressed shadow formula. I also was absolutely loving the NYX um, Precision precision brow and in ash brown and the reason was is because specifically of the color I like that it does have a spoolie on the one end for you know your grooming and I do like that it has more of an oval shape on the tip which you won't be able to see anyway but I love this color it's a really kind of ashy color but it's dark enough to help my brows. I've been finding lately that taupe is just not the right color for me in most of these things. It has to be this, you know, ash, more ashy color. And this is like the perfect color. So I have been really enjoying that. And I did talk to you guys recently about LA Colors and their Pro Concealers and the Color Corrector. And this is the Apricot one. And I have been using this instead of the orange one that I use um, from Maybelline because I ran out. And I just have been really enjoying this one. I like the texture of it, that it is a little bit thicker, but it doesn't mix with my concealer. So I really have been enjoying that. I'm not absolutely sold on their delivery system which is a kind of a little messy brush on the end there, but I can live with that because the product is good in itself. Oh, I did have one thing that I did want to talk to you about that is not really um, like something I didn't like, but it's something that was a little bit harder to work with. This is the Milani, the Violet One Lash Primer. Um, this I found is just like just about all the primers. The Essence one is one that I like, but same thing happens with the Essence one. It gets so goopy on the end of, I don't know if you guys can even see that, but it gets so goopy on the end of the, the wand that you have to wipe and wipe and wipe. And that's one thing that I really have a problem with primers. This is a decent primer. It does a decent job as far as giving you length and a little bit of volume. I would say it probably lengthens more than it does the volume. But again, that gets so goopy. And I guess I dismissed that the Essence one got goopy because of its price point. But at buying, you know, a $10 one and it being goopy still was a little bit like, I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, that's my little rant about that one. I am absolutely in love with this product, you guys. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Primer, eyeshadow primer. The reason that I love this so much is because it's white and it is super sticky. So I'm not one that will go in, put my eye primer on and then put a powder on because I feel like that's self that's kind of defeating the purpose of using a primer which is to grab your eyeshadow and hold it on all day this doesn't let your eyeshadow crease it's on all day it's just it gives that opacity and so yeah i really have been enjoying that also you guys i want to talk about this highlighter from cody it's new and it's at walmart and you can only buy it in stores so i hope that you guys can find it um i think it was like $6. I'm not 100% sure on that. So it has a puff inside. Huge thing of highlighter. I don't know who would ever use that much highlighter in their whole entire life. But you guys, it's what I have on today. Hopefully you can see it. I didn't put a ton on, but it is what I have on today. This highlighter is just like the powder. Super finely milled. Doesn't have a fragrance. Doesn't have that Cody fragrance. Thank goodness. 
because I can't use the powder because of that. But look at that highlight. It's like glass. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna dip into it and I'm gonna put just a little bit more on so you guys can see. This is probably the prettiest highlight that I have seen in a long time. I don't usually like loose highlighters, but wowie wow, it is so pretty and I just love it. And I just thought this is one that I can definitely get on board with. The other thing that I do like is that the puff kind of keeps it, you know, not letting it all loose like you do your loose setting powder. It all gets in the jar and whatnot and it kind of makes a little bit of a mess. But this is really good, you guys. So I would recommend this. Also discovering the LA Girl Pro Color foundation mixing pigments was a huge deal for me. So they have these and you mix them into your foundations and you make custom colors. So the blue for me, and I talked about this in my LA Girls video, the blue for me helps me take any foundation that I have that is more on the golden side or the warm side and share it out to make it, or mix it, not share it out, mix it to make it a little bit more cool because I do have a very almost cool undertone, neutral to cool undertone. So this helps out a ton and I have been enjoying that so much. And as you kind of maybe aren't self tanning and you're getting a little bit lighter in your skin color, you might want the white to mix in. Same thing with this. I think they have an orange that you can mix in and they have a yellow. So if you, you know, you can do anything you want to and they each explain on them on the website what each of them do, which is great. I think it's just great to be able to pick up something like that and customize your foundation. So for, you know, without having to go out and spend more money on foundation. For hair care, you guys, I have been in love with my new Laneige products. This one is the dry shampoo and I love their heat shield and their thicket and their root booster. I ordered four different products from them and I have not been disappointed with any of them. I will say that their Thicket product, which is designed to make thin hair or fine hair feel thicker, it does that. But you're definitely gonna feel like you have product on your hair. So I would go easy on it, really go easy on it. But all these other products, uh, and well, the Thicket too, I've been so loving these this hair care line. I, it's, this isn't sponsored either because I bought all this with my own money just from um, seeing a tutorial on it. But I have, I've liked them and they had 50% off and then they had 60% off for Labor Day. I have a feeling that they have 50% off quite often. So if you go on there and you find that it, you don't, you know, you can't find it for that, then um, maybe wait a little while and go ahead and purchase it when it does come on sale. Get on their mailing list and see about when it does come on sale because I have been enjoying their products a lot for my hair and it's been doing a lot to help me keep these beachy waves that I did that tutorial for. So I've been enjoying that. Okay, skincare. I have been using the Pixie Vitamin C Tonic. It's like the Glow Tonic only, it's a vitamin C version of it. They sent this to me with a whole big care package of it, which I haven't gotten to try besides this. And I like this a lot. And so I will use this as my toner in the AM. At night, I use a serum that's a vitamin C, but I use the vitamin C tonic in the morning as my first step after cleansing. And it just seems to be really brightening my skin. I really do like it. So if you guys have been looking for a really good vitamin C treatment, but you know, something that's not gonna break the bank, this one is really good. I know that Pixie just expanded that line, the vitamin C into a ton of stuff. And as I try it, I will definitely be talking talking to you about it. And I'm gonna sound like a broken record here, you guys, but this is the Sukiyaka Suhara Urea Eye Cream. You guys, I could not live without this because of the moisture that it puts underneath my eyes. I use a lot of it at night and then I use just a normal amount of it in the daytime. But when I wake up, my eyes are still very emollient and very plumped up from this. The other thing is it has just this tiny bit of exfoliating property to it. And how many things can you think of that you can put right up here underneath your eyes that are exfoliating and yet gentle enough to be a treatment and the exfoliating and help with plumpness all day and all night. And you know, I just, I'm just gonna keep recommending this because it's just that good of a product. And until you try it, you won't know what I'm talking about. But once you try it, you'll know what I'm talking about because it's just lovely. And the same thing goes for the X-Lash Eyelash Serum. I know that so many serum, 
serum. So many of you guys have tried this and so many of you guys have enjoyed this and I'm so glad, but I want everybody to be able to have long, pretty lashes. Mine aren't the greatest right now because they're going through a shed, but I have noticed that even though they are going through a little bit of a shed, they still, those new ones are coming in and they're thicker and prettier and they are still longer than they normally would ever get. It's really good eyelash serum. You only have to use it once at night. And this huge tube, this is a double tube. This tube will last me anywhere from six to nine months. And it just is well worth the money because I have eyelashes for the first time in my life. And I just am excited to have eyelashes. So same thing on both of these products. I keep talking about them. I keep mentioning, I go back to them, but you guys, when something really works, why recommend something else when something really, really works? And they really do work good for me. I also want to mention to you guys my per perfume that I have just been loving so much. This is Mon Perry from YSL. And as I smell this, it's definitely along the lines of floral, but it has the little fruity sweetness like notes to it too. And when I wear it, I just feel like a girly girl. Does that make sense? There are some scents when you just feel like it's a sexy scent, and there's some scents when you feel like it's a fresh scent, and then there's some scents when, when you feel like it's just a really florally scent. But this just makes me feel like a girl. It just, <laughs> there's no really other way to put it. It is strong enough that you spray it and it's not gonna disappear within an hour, and I really do like that about it. So I do love that one. And then I wanna do another, again, go back to what works, right? This is a shout out to my Zoya nail polishes. Every time you guys ask, I usually have a Zoya nail polish on. Now today I have this nail polish right here, which is, let me grab my readers. This one is called Rumor. I have this one on underneath this one, which is called Leia or Leah or something like that, L-E-I-A. Anyway, that's what's on my nails today. And this Leah, it does such a pretty top coat. It puts this, like duochrome color on top of whatever color you're wearing and it just kind of really shines as you move your hands and stuff and it gives that little bit of a flip and it's just it's just a really pretty one that goes on top of other things and I'm always going to be putting a topper of some sort on top of my nail color I just like to do that to give it that duochrome finish so that is it for my monthly favorites. I hope that you did enjoy it, you guys. Let me know what you guys were liking this month and what you guys really were kind of stuck on and what you're grabbing for this month because I always like to hear recommendations from you guys too. That helps me out so much. I hope you got a chance to see my Get Ready With Me video that I did a couple of days ago. That video was a lot of fun. It was doing this look right here. So if you're wondering about that and where this look came from, it was from that video and you can see all the makeup that I'm wearing and all of of these products linked in the description box below. Don't forget that those are affiliate links and I do get a few pennies from those links when you click on them and you do buy off of them. So I thank you in advance for supporting my channel and supporting my little family too. It does help me out so very much. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Take care of yourselves. I hope everyone is in good health. I will see you all in my very next video. Love you much. Bye-bye.